hello from the Tuscan region of Italy. I am in this small town. I don't really know the name because we just stopped by to grab some food and oh my gosh, the views out here are incredible. And this town is really beautiful. We've been in Tuscany for a few days right now. We spent a few days in Pisa and then we took the train to make our way to Grosseto, Alex and I, and then from there, we drove all the way to Saturnia. And the reason we made our way to Saturnia is to visit the popular Cascate del Mulino di Saturnia. It's one of the most popular, or if not the most popular hot spring here in Italy. Beautiful blue pools, geothermal pools, beautiful views, beautiful sights. So we made our way there. I was a little bit disappointed for a few reasons. When we got there, the temperature of the water was not as hot as I'm used to when I go to hot springs usually, which you guys know if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of hot springs. I think the temperature of the water was around 37 degrees Celsius at best. And usually you know how you get to the top, like to the top or the source of the water, it gets hotter, or the pools can get hotter. It was not the case with this one. And so it really just felt like now this is, this is January or early January. It felt like you were in a puddle of warm water, but it was not really hot. Uh, besides the fact that there are a lot of people, which I kind of knew it is extremely busy because it's this picturesque, Instagrammable uh, type of hot spring. It was it was so packed. Uh, but was it really worth it? I think making the drive from Grosseto for us to make our way up here to uh, Saturnia, it was absolutely beautiful. Beautiful hills, beautiful sunsets, beautiful scenery with a lot of olive trees and vineyards. So it was worth it. But for today, actually, and the reason we are out here, we are a little bit north of uh, Saturnia, about I think one hour, 30 minutes to drive up north. North, we are here to check a hot spring that's supposed to be better, better in a way that it's going to be hotter from what I was told by the locals here. So we're gonna go check it out and bring you guys with and I hope that you guys enjoy this video today. So we just arrived to the hot spring. There are a bunch of cars parked here. There are some uh, ruins from some old walls. And there's actually a vehicle right there selling some goodies. So we're gonna go check them out. And then we're gonna head to the hot spring. This hot spring is free, but right next to it, there's actually a thermal spa that you can probably see out there. So if you want a fancier experience, you can check that out. But for us, we love free stuff, so we're gonna make our way to the free pool. Free! <laughs> <laughs> They've got oranges, nuts, honey. Is there anyone there? Ciao! Okay, ciao. So the hot spring is right on the side of the road. There aren't really any changing rooms. There are a couple of uh, picnic tables, you know, just like hidden spots right here where you can get changed, which we just did. Right here. And we cannot wait to soak in. Let's go. We just wrapped up our adventure at the hot spring and it was incredible. Two Th thumbs up. Two thumbs up. This was absolutely worth it. The water was really hot. I think that's what you call a hot spring, not the hot springs in Saturnia. <laughs> a lot of good like sediment and stuff in the water too from time to time. It makes you feel like it's, it's natural, not just some yes. reheated water. And it's really good for your skin. There's even a lot of mud that you can, you know, apply on your face and your skin if you love to. Was it worth the drive? Absolutely. Is it better than Saturnia? Absolutely. Is Saturnia even worth it? I think if it's on your bucket list and it's a place that you absolutely want to go to, sure, I think it's 
it's a good place to visit still. Maybe the actual paid for spa in Saturnia is okay. Yes. We can't speak about that one though. So both hot springs, actually Saturnia has a thermal spa right next to it. And then this one also has a thermal spa next to it. So if you are looking for a more sophisticated experience, you can choose that option. Curated, natural. That being said, you may have to wait for the right spot from time to time to get into a little pool. Yeah. And the water was a little shallow here, but good fun. All right, so that wraps up our adventure out here at the hot spring. We'll get back to our Airbnb for the night and we'll see you on a new adventure. Bye. Ciao.